JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, St. James businessman fatally shoots son in mistook for intruder. The St. James Police Division is investigating the circumstances which led to the shooting death of a man in Rhine Park early Friday morning. Based on information gathered, the dead man, Akeem Taylor, was shot and killed by his father in what lawmen described as an unfortunate situation. It is alleged that at approximately 5.40 a.m., Taylor's father, a popular St. James businessman, upon seeing a shadow on the roof of his house, opened fire and injured the man. After further investigations, it was revealed that the victim, Taylor, was the adult son of the businessman. The police were called to the scene and Taylor was rushed to the Conway Ridge Hospital in the parish where he later succumbed to his injuries. The Barreton police are investigating. Alleged kidnappers bail revoked amid probing to threats from jail. The alleged driver for a car in which a woman was reportedly kidnapped, robbed and beaten in Kingston had his bail revoked on Thursday after it was reported that he had threatened an individual who he believed was responsible for his arrest. The accused, Ricardo Burrows, and his ex-girlfriend, Monique Miller, as well as Russell Slowly, were arrested and charged with kidnapping, conspiracy to kidnap, conspiracy, and rob with aggravation. Miller is also charged with receiving stolen property and simple larceny, while Slowly is charged with assault occasioning actual bodily harm. All were arrested last February, but only Boris was released on bail. When the matter was mentioned on Thursday, the investigating officer informed the parish judge Lorian Cole Montague that he had received credible information that Boris had approached an individual and threatened him. Slowly has allegedly been calling a witness from behind bars and threatening to inflict harm once he is free. The investigator told the court that he is in the process of recording a statement and asked the judge to take Boris into custody. Attorney at law Davian Vassal who is representing Boros, however objected, arguing that the investigating officer had failed to mention that the person his client had allegedly threatened was not a Crown witness. Vass also asserted that the Crown had no case against his client as it was not pointed out by the complainant. While conceding that the person in question was not a Crown witness, the investigating officer told the court that he believes the allegations are true. The cops said that while Boros was not pointed out by the complainant, the police had information that he was, indeed, the driver of the car used in the abduction. The judge subsequently revoked Boris's bail and instructed the investigating officer to complete the statement by 1 p.m. Friday for the matter to be mentioned this afternoon. Slowly was remanded, while the court was informed that Miller was not brought because there is an outbreak of the coronavirus at the South Camp Remand Centre. Allegations are that on January 31, 2021, about 6.30 a.m., the complainant boarded a motor car, which has been operated as a taxi by Boros. Slowly and Miller were both aboard the vehicle. Shortly after entering the vehicle, the woman was allegedly told by Boros that she buck up in a criminals this morning. Boros allegedly instructed Slowly to cover the complainant's face with a mask. The complainant was reportedly relieved of her handbag containing her cell phone and credit card by Slowly. The accused then reportedly took the complainant to a location where she was left alone with Slowly while Boris and Miller took the card after forcing her to give them the access code. Miller and Boris reportedly went to Halfway Tree where they spent $12,206 at a pharmacy and approximately $39,000 at a supermarket in the Ligony area. It is also alleged that they went to several ATMs in the corporate area and made withdrawals amounting to about $145,931. The court also heard that slowly inflicted several blows to the complainant's arms, legs and face, dislodging a tooth. Vassa also represents slowly, while attorney at law Anna K. Kelly represents Miller. Man's body found on Mitchelton Road, Clarendon. The body of a man was found by passing motorists on the Mitchelton Road in Clarendon at about 7 p.m. on Thursday. The deceased has been identified as 59-year-old fisherman Steve Ralph Reed of Banks District, Racecourse, Clarendon. According to reports, Mr. Reed was found lying on the road with his motorcycle on his legs. The Lionel Town police were summoned and Reed was rushed to the Lionel Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The police are reporting that no damage was seen on the motorcycle and there was no physical wound visible on his body. They are awaiting the autopsy report to ascertain the cause of death. Investigations continue. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive 
our daily news items.